Everything I've explained so far is based on the warehouse employee's database. This time, however, I want to give another example. I'm going to change to the Commodities Future database. Okay, I need to go to my ribbon control panel and load a cube. You can see the standard Open File dialog form appeared. I double click on the Commodities database file. After just a second, I have access to that data cube. First I quickly move the data up and right. This lets me only see the oats commodity with many technical analysis indicators for the last 5 minutes. I would like to pick a cube theme. Ok, now I'll open the spreadsheet with the list of commodities. This is what you can see on investing sites. Because of legal restrictions and terms and conditions, I can't show you their sites without the proper written consent. Anyway, I only need an example, not real data or a layout. So on the left spreadsheet, there are the most popular commodities with prices, changes, etc. I want to involve the technical analysis aspect. In this case, I need to click on the desired commodity. I deliberately choose the oats commodity at the start. Why? Because it lets me focus on the minimum located on the cube surface information. Ok, I go to the next excel sheet. You can see here common data with many technical indicators. This page is for the gold commodity. You can also see blue highlighted links to time range data. Please have a look, the same indicators are on the top wall and the edge of the cube. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, it's for the oats commodity. I compare it to the left screen side spreadsheet not by commodity or data, but to show similar data structure. Ok, as you can see, the left side spreadsheet gives data for one commodity and the last 5 minutes. If I click on the 15 minutes link, the website loads data for the last 15 minutes. Same with 39 minutes or an hour, etc. Now let's see a cube. I add one more commodity. It is lumber. The left side cube wall now gives data for the last 5 minutes for two commodities. One more appeared. It is the feeder cattle commodity located on the top cube's wall. So now I have got three commodities with a 5 minute time range. I want to check quickly other indicators like moving averages. Ok, so to see the bigger range of indicators I have to increase the Z axis matrix. I change it to 20. I see many indicators now like pivot points, moving averages, etc. Of course the right side cubes wall gives data for 3 commodities. Next I quickly shift commodities up. And at last now I see the gold commodities. It is located at the top of my cube. I am again going to show the left side spreadsheet with gold as well. Now I can see the same indicators on both sheets. Again, please consider spreadsheet data as a reference, not exactly the same values. But now it's not only the gold commodity I can see on my cube. There are 16 others as well. Next, I shift cube data left. A new category appeared. It is the 15 minutes range. So this time I have that range for all of my cube commodities, not just one. Now I am going to see other time ranges. In just one move, or rather I shift to the next time slice. Ok, my cube is populated with all time ranges. I want to show one more time how many steps I need to do using sites to get the next commodity, like for example silver. Ok, so I load maybe the next database. It is Eurostock 50. Done. You can see the same database structure. It is because inventors use one technical analysis. This time I'm going to start from a one layer tablet. Well, my tablet gives me alphabetically the first 17 big boys. The top edge of the tablet gives me the type of data and the top edge values are the same on both sides. 
Okay, I shift the company wall up a few times. Now on the top is Bayer AG. Now I want to see the tablet with RSI 14 indicator. Again, I compare to the left side spreadsheet. I can see the indicator just for one company and one time range. Again, I click the top edge of the tablet and get the next indicator. Now the tablet shows all time ranges for 17 companies with that indicator. I think I can stop now because I explained how powerful the Visual Cube system is.